Bienvenidos, mi amigos. Welcome back to Cartel Tycoon. Hope we're having a great day. We're going to start this video off by doing a couple things. I want to get another smuggling point going. And um, for that, we're just going to turn on this aerodrome, basically. That's what we're going to do. Um, and we're going to try to get people to deliver some stuff here because we've got a lot of stuff to deliver. Yeah. So we got River Pier Airport. I'm going to turn this on and go here. And then I'm also going to have this one do the same exact thing. So you guys have multiple smuggling points to take things to now. And um, hopefully you will. I'm also going to take this here, this Pathos Residence. I'm going to get rid of the Tensaka Casino and add this. Just so we can have money brought there. And then finally, turn that back to Dirty Money Management. Okay. That's what I wanted to start with. The second thing I want to start with, which I'm going to do actually before I talk to her, because I don't know how it'll affect everything. I don't know what she's going to say. Um, is I think I've decided I'm going to bail Vanessa out of prison. Okay. She doesn't like me too much. And with the terror being down, she's only going to get worse in here. So I've decided that we're going to post the $21,000 to bail her out. And we're not going to hire her because we don't have enough room. So we're just going to bail her out and send her free. You're free from our organization. Goodbye, Vanessa Diaz Venhi. You are gone. And of course, now she's available to hire again if I want to hire her, but I don't have to hire her. She's gone. Okay, now that she's out of prison and everything's fine, let's talk. I think we have a problem. Los Ordor Autoridades are taking an increased interest in our means of production. We are even caught a few spies snooping around. Is this a rival gang? It'd be more of a surprise to me if we had no problems at all, Lieutenant. As for the interest in our coquinas, which I'm not even making, it sounds like Los Autoridades uh, are trying to cut us down at the root of our operation. An unusually intelligent move for Los Tambos. That's because it's not Los Tambos taking an interest. Strangely enough, the visitors are from the Dirección de Impuesta y Aduanes, Aduanas Nacionales. Okay, sure. I think I said that right. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, the tax man. Oh, no. Que desastre. All right. Uh, desastre. Uh, so if they're able to get an idea of the scale of our operation, we stand to lose a lot of money. All right. We have to reduce the size of our operation. We need to lose eight of our production buildings within the fortnight. Or perhaps we could afford to lose only six within the next three weeks, though we wouldn't be able to build any more in that time lest we alert them to our plan. All right. So let's see. If we forfeit eight buildings, we have to demolish eight production buildings within 14 days. If failed, legal money will decrease by 40%. That's a lot. We can forfeit six without building. Um, if we do that, then we can only we only have to demolish six production buildings, but we can't construct any more for 21 days. I think I like that better. My production is already pretty good. I can leave it alone. I don't have to build any more. Um, we're, we're probably fine. And it's, it's the restriction on all buildings. We cannot construct any buildings for 21 days, not just production buildings. And again, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, it does put a hamper into my plans for today for this video. Um, but I think what we'll probably do is I'll just skip ahead. You know, like we'll, we'll maintain things for a bit, but I think I'll probably skip you ahead of that 21 days. Um, just so this, this video isn't filled with basically stagnation and watching people do things. Um, but I have a good enough production now. I've built the buildings I need to build. I don't exactly know if constructing buildings, uh, if upgrading buildings counts as constructing them. I'm going to err on the side of caution and say that it does. So also we'll stop um, any upgrades I'm going to do uh, for that amount of time as well. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. So we'll go ahead and do this. We're going to have to, we're going to have to forfeit six production buildings. Uh, any more within the next three weeks, we'll buy ourselves more time by going silent. However, production line will, will take less of an immediate hit. So here's how I'm going to do this. Let me pause this. So the production buildings that I'm going to reduce are going to be these, these ones over here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if the if it's just the fields that count or if the workshops count as well. But um, this warehouse has almost nothing in it. 
I don't believe a warehouse is going to count as a production building. So um, we are going to demolish these two because they're less useful to me. So when they go down, that will help. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away, I think, I want to say all three of these avocado fields. I think we can, yeah, we can remove one, two, three, four avocado fields. Okay, now that's going to put a damper on where avocados and stuff are. But our trucks can get the avocados now from a single source. And that's right here. So I can buy, I don't need to pay a premium. I can buy a bunch of these. I can even do it with legal money. It won't be a problem. And our trucks can now go over to the town and uh, and get those avocados from here and then bring them to the sources. So if we just re basically reduce these four fields and these two fields and then don't build anything for 21 days, we'll just basically end up with a lot of money. The cool thing about this plan, actually, it probably saves me money overall and is because these fields take $12 of upkeep every day. So that's 12, 24, $48 a day. And then these ones over here are only two. So that's just four. So really it's, it comes down to what? Like $30 a day that I'm not paying now because I've destroyed the buildings. And so by buying them here, yeah, I buy them for $32 per unit. So it is more expensive here, but I get the benefits of, of, um, you know, being able to keep the loyalty up. I don't know. Maybe if the loyalty wasn't already maxed out, I would say that's probably a good idea. But now that I'm looking at it with the loyalty basically maxed out, and I don't think it's as good of an idea as it would have been before. Anyway, this will at least free up some of the trucks, which is a good thing. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and demolish these little road snippets because it will make it easier to place the fields uh, later on. So we'll just bring those out and then um, we were going to demolish these anyway these ones were always going to be uh, gone so I'll just I can just take away this road um, I have other plans for this area but now that I can't build anything I'm just going to wait it out um, we don't need this so I can reduce the warehouse maintenance on that uh, and we don't need the transport company either so I could actually just demolish it but I'll just turn it off instead and we won't maintain that either okay so that sets up that sets up the mission now we weren't we were already not bringing avocados here with fields and you can see we're starting to get a little bit full here so we will need to buy more avocados here i have dirty money here not enough to do that but i can go about that and then i can just have one of my lieutenants bring that stuff in uh you're you're a pretty good fit for this actually so we'll just have you come over and get uh bring those avocados in we'll say avocados bring all of them uh not even all of them just say a hundred that way you'll end in the building if i do this then you'll go back here and wait if i do this then you'll stay at the or at the destination and that's where i want you to stay so i'll go here and that will cause you to stay at the destination when you're done delivering and that's where you need to stay anyway because cannabis cultivator uh, very good that way. You do not actually have trucking. I thought you had the truck expansion, but you do not. If I take a look at my organization real quick, um, we can see that his next promotion is truck supplier. And I kind of want that. Um, we also have, if I look at this really quick, excuse me, I have a hiccup. I have hiccups now. Uh, do, doing a video with the hiccups, it is the worst, okay? If you ever made videos and content creation or anything, oh God. Getting the hiccups is like, okay, you need to take a break now. You can't do your job. It, it's it, it's awful. Uh, okay, so I probably, good thing we're going to cut ahead uh, for this. It gives me time to get take care of that. Put a big old spoonful of sugar on my tongue and let it dissolve, huh? That's my method. It works. If you haven't tried that before, try it. Just, it, it works for me. I know everyone has their own method of getting rid of hic hiccups. Sorry. Um, everyone has their own method of doing that. And um, uh, mine is, is... Maybe odd, but I just take like a, a small teaspoon uh, of sugar and I, I, I pour it on my tongue and I just let it dissolve. And I don't know why. I have no idea, but I'm 100% effective. So that's what I'm going to go do to, to get rid of this nonsense. Um, anyway, so um, she is damn close to being promoted. And I think I'm actually going to not do power, but instead do assassination because I do not have anyone that... Um, I don't have anyone that can actually do any assassinations right now. 
as far as I'm aware, I've looked through all the skills, nobody has this. And the ones that have it a bit of the ability to get it, have it pretty far down the tree like she does. So um, instead of that extra two power, which is, you know, probably important, but I mean, we're doing okay defending buildings, you know, and we're going to have military support. I don't think this is as useful as this. If there a situation arises where I need to assassinate someone, I would like to have someone who can do it. So um, it'll be Paulina that will end up being uh, promoted to uh, that highest spot, but she's not really ready for that promotion yet. And that's why. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and um, let the video run, if you will. And uh, we'll be right back when I'm allowed to build something. Okay. Okay, so we're not yet able to build anything, but I did want to kind of maybe go through a little bit of what, what's happened, and then by the time I've done that, hopefully I'll be able to build stuff. So we have almost $600,000 in legal money now, and 710000 in dirty. There's just so much dirty money. We cannot watch it fast enough. But here's the cool thing. We're getting this much dirty money, and that is pretty much um, with the seaport has been off most of the time. Um, because I didn't really have any products I wanted to send through it. I was raising terror by sending coffee through it. And uh, also, avocados are getting confiscated. So I had to switch it up to chicken. The cool thing about having the village be the one that's supplying our masking products is that it's very fast, very quick and flexible to change. So uh, I do like that. I have not upgraded any buildings yet because I still don't know if that counts as building. But um, we are now getting attacked by Espada de Bolivar, and they are coming in to a farm with 19 strength, and they're gonna take this field, which I repeat, I don't care. They can have that one if they want to. I'm, I don't care. You can, you can, you can have it. I have reduced how many people are going through the airport for a while because we've caught up to what was in storage, and um, also lots of dirty money was flowing through here. I'm definitely going to replace this residence. Uh, there's no cost to keeping it though. So maybe I won't replace it. Maybe instead I'll simply add the pathos residence like right here, and then it can hopefully cover all of this. I think that'll be better off. Um, we still have room to build two more buildings in here for laundering. So I'm looking forward to doing that too. And then over here, the university is done. And so what I've decided to do with this, um, if I can get somebody that has the researcher perk, that'd be cool. But I, I feel like it's kind of a waste because research is largely a one-time thing and it doesn't really take much to do it so um the active research currently right now is warehouse three and um it cost me 32 grand of legal money to get that and it's going to reduce our it's going to increase the number of trucks makes the trucks larger they can move more stuff it raises their upkeep but again i'm already at half upkeep for them so it, it won't matter as much and uh yeah so we'll go ahead and upgrade these as soon as we're able to when that research completes this looks like I also didn't delete this road here and here. So, um, yeah. So, like, the the challenge of the game right now, I'll, I'll be honest, the challenge is a little low right now. Um, initially, in the very beginning, I think that mattered more. Uh, but now, it's feeling pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. It feels pretty pretty easy um so what we're gonna try and do uh, i guess is um just to see if we can maybe spice it up a little bit for drama is i'm gonna take fascani and i'm gonna take chaparica uh i'm gonna take Organdes and molino and then i'm also gonna come over here and take out amato and that will remove the gangs from uh, oh, no, we have Puerto Roja as well, as well. So we'll probably do that too. But um, we're going to try to eliminate the gangs. I don't need to take every city, but just getting rid of the gangs so that I don't get attacked. Um, we're going we're gonna to work on that uh, next. Just because I think that'll spice it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so for that, I'm going to need Polina to start, uh, you know, causing trouble. So we're going to go ahead and have her do that. And if I do that, it's like the enemy has decided to just flat out take this instead of burning it to the ground. So that's interesting. We'll go ahead and have Paulina go ahead and take that back now. And um, I really doubt they're going to come over and uh, defend it. Well, it looks like they are going to come defend it. With 19 strength, all of them are going to come defend that. Really? That does make it spicy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so combat strength here currently just says uh, it's a 7. 
So when these guys come in here, it'll end up being 20. So I am going to have to actually put a bunch of people in here to, to combat this eventually. If I can get them there quick enough to take it before they arrive, though, that would be better. I think. Maybe I just have everybody come right on over and defend and get that. I didn't realize they would come with their full force to defend this, but here they are. They're coming. You can almost take this completely before they arrive. But it does look like my guys will go through the residence here to, to get to this destination. Actually, I can make another road right here. Make that faster. And then also, I can make this road upgraded. Oops, well, I just want to, yep, like that. And so now they can get through there quicker and get into this field. They don't have to go all the way around, but they're choosing to do so, I guess. They already had their pathing determined, I guess. So we've already taken this. It's ours again. And are they going to turn around and go back the other way, or are they going to try to take it again? No, they're just going to turn around. Okay. So that takes care of that problem. We're going to go ahead and go back to having more trucks. You go there. Uh, Colby, you're going to be a, I really don't need the peacemaker to be honest, but you don't have any other purpose other than the deliveries. I guess I could get you in the airport, but meh, I'll just get you back in the city for loyalty. Um, Amarantha, I'm going to put you back over here, I guess, for the truck supplier. And then, um, we can move Paulina back to the airport, but honestly, I kind of want her to pick a fight. So. Um, why don't we, why don't we maybe look at messing with Molino for a little bit? I think messing with Molino seems to, it makes more sense to me. They have these, um, chemical plant twos already built over here. And, um, I'm going to see about maybe getting that. Also, our, our loyalty is dropping rapidly. Um, wondering why that is. Did we, did we do something we weren't supposed to do? Let me take a look really quick. Our opium deal. Oh, we, we just, we just, yeah. Okay. So we, we just finished that thing where we weren't allowed to build anymore. And so that's, that's done now. Um, we still have the opium deal to do, but I already completed my cannabis deal. And so now I can build is where I'm, where I'm going with this. So I'm going to say that I want, uh, the first thing to happen is I want this upgraded. We're going to upgrade that drying rack. It's going to take nine hours to do. Um, the workshops need to be upgraded, but it looks to me like the real reason for them to overflow is just because we no longer have avocados. Um, you know, we're not we're not working with avocados here anymore, and we, we're going to send out chicken instead now. So let's move you over here, and we're just going to buy. Legal money is fine. We don't need to worry about anything else. There's actually already 230 chicken in here. So what we'll do now is we're going to swap this to chicken, so that they will you know keep doing their work. And then I will have the chicken from this and I'll have it be max delivered like this so that you stay in that area when you're done. Uh, 230 is probably fine. We'll have you deliver that to this warehouse for distribution. There we go. I'm wondering if I can make this. Yeah, I can't really make, I was hoping I could maybe do another road off the side here. Um, I did that with the airport here. So we're, we're using this aerodrome now just to send stuff out. And um, I made a little gravel road right here. So it allows me to build roads, just not anything else. Okay, Pathos Residence. I want you to be over here next to this to cover that entire city if possible and all the buildings that we're gonna have in this area go. And so we'll have that. And then also go ahead and have you build a road right over to the city like so. And then also into this area, we'll have this, does this fit? Ooh, it does right there. That's perfect. And then we'll have this kind of go out that way and then just uh, here and here. So residences have their path to take. Yeah. So once this is built, then all the maintenance on this stuff just gets super reduced. I don't need it to be in range of the airport, but by doing so, the dirty money can flow from the airport, which there's $32,000 in there. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, now the next thing, a bit of research I want to do, because I have the research, uh, the university and stuff done. We have now done warehouse three that was going while I was waiting for everything to kind of cool down and I could rebuild. So by getting warehouse three, I've also unlocked the ability to have asphalt roads, which is really fast travel. Um, I would like to 
get for, for fulfillment center i can now increase the radius on these things which will drive a lot more stuff i can also add additional uh, trucks this is full convoy brings up the seven trucks per and i can now go down this whole path here and just you know transport companies reducing costs this one here hits both of these buildings in a single research project adding more trucks i want logistics to be awesome so we're going to start with the um getting trucks for the warehouses and uh we'll hit that we'll get this next and then i might look at asphalt roads although i don't think it's necessary just yet but basically truck transporting is our big bottleneck is just not having enough trucks that's why i've got a lot of my lieutenants and capos and stuff sitting in warehouses adding to the truck fleet because they just need to move everywhere all these fields and stuff all need to be covered and um, increasing the radius is only going to exacerbate that problem however um, now that we've done all this, we can now get the avocado fields going, which is good because I'm actually no longer, there's no longer any avocados being delivered here. Um, so I'm just going to take with the legal money, cause I've got tons of it. We're going to buy a bunch of this. That'll get our loyalty up by doing so as well, but for extra costs, the trucks can now come over here and get that stuff delivered. I can then go into the farms and once again, make my three avocado farms and we'll just go to tier three right away. And I can do this with dirty money. There's plenty in the area. We'll just go one, two, three, four. That. To bring my avocado fields back as well. Thankfully, I don't need to actually rebuild this stuff yet. Um, although getting a constant chicken supply and stuff, I mean, I have other ways. I don't need to buy it from the villages anymore. I have these other events loyalty so i could make this even easier as far as routes go um again just kind of like getting more of the product uh, with this legal money i need to make sure that all my cities are maxed out unfortunately so doso is a city that has the highest throughput as far as like you know the seaports here basically um but unfortunately even though the seaport is there which they're no longer uh, they're still confiscating avocados um the city is the one of the smallest. It only has room for three buildings here. Um, so I want to push more product through this river pier because we can wash that money faster. And this is already full. $61,000 is in this and that's no good too. So let me just take and bring like 28 grand into this bank. Yeah, I could afford to do that. Um, I do kind of wish that I could bring it to the city and then that would just be automatically dispersed. But it's looking to me like I can't have that happen unless, well, maybe this residence would do it, but this residence is full as is. So I just simply need more buildings to wash. So we can have another building in here and I am tempted to maybe, I mean, yeah, cath another cathedral would be okay here. Um, it can handle a lot of stuff. It, you know, 18,900 every seven days, I can reduce the upkeep cost by half. Um, I think the cathedral is the way to go here. Um, I mean, a hotel would be okay, but it doesn't wash money. Um, you know, the jewelry store is okay, but it's the same interval as the cathedral. It's just less money uh, able to be washed. Um, to do the circus is lower volume than the cathedral as well. Amusement park is pretty fast, but still it's, it's lower volume than pretty much everything else. So, uh, salsa club yeah no I, I think in yeah i go back in and i hit a cathedral here at, at this place so we'll build that as well um i just need more buildings that i can where i can wash money and we'll do the same thing over here i think we're gonna make a circus because i haven't done one yet and i do still kind of want to do that so we'll say that we build one with dirty money here and then on the side of this we can also pop a cathedral into this side here too there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of benefit to doing these other businesses the taxi is okay but it's, again, it's just the volume. I need higher volume buildings to make this happen. Um, yeah, it just it just makes more sense to go with things that have significantly higher volume for washing, especially if it's going to be in range of a building that reduces the upkeep. So uh, we'll go ahead and build that cathedral there too. So lots of things are on the list to build. I'm just going to spend a whole lot of money, but I'm hoping that I don't attract attention from reporters or anything like that by having one of the buildings done with dirty money, which I don't believe is traceable. Like, I don't believe people are gonna be like, you're spending a lot of money lately. 
if you can't see the finances of it, if you can't see the, the actual building that I'm doing. So, um, let's see. Let's move some of this money over. And um, we're going to take and deliver a lot of this cash. We'll deliver pretty much all the cash, I guess. Almost all of it. And I want to jump it into... Uh, let's pop it into that casino right there. Because that casino has uh, some room for more money, too. And then I need another, either another residence. Well, yeah, I think so. Either another residence or I need my capo or somebody else to provide more trucks for the residences. Um, we can upgrade residences and that goes on the construction list. So unfortunately that will take a while if I want to do it. So like, for example, this one here, I could hit this button later and upgrade it. It'll give it more trucks. Um, Cause right now the base trucks is just uh, two. She's adding more trucks to it. Um, but I, I need to upgrade them to have them uh, work the way I want them to. So this will do fulfillment center and then we'll hit full convoy. Once I do that, then I can move my people to transport companies for more trucks there and to residences for more trucks instead of the warehouses. So like I could do this, for example, and I feel like loading, returning, returning, like these are overloaded, right? We don't have any idle trucks. So if you see a building with idle trucks, then you know that that's not the bottleneck. So like this one here, there's three trucks idle. So there's no bottleneck for trucks here. So I need to move her to some place that, that has uh, a need for more trucks. So if I go to logistics here, these are two idling, which is weird. Why are you idling? There's so much to do, isn't there? You're full of avocados, but no dried cannabis. How did that happen? Are the dryers not working anymore or what? What happened? That's strange, actually. That's really strange. Now that this is waiting on the dried cannabis, both of these are. We don't have enough? That's interesting. Okay. Um, if the dryers aren't full, they don't appear to be. I mean, they're upgrading and stuff now. I've, I've up, I've, yeah, I've changed the rules a little bit by upgrading those. So, um, maybe we'll get some more cannabis fields in here, I guess. 60%, uh, there's a 62 here. So I guess I'll take that and then, uh, we'll put another one here and another one, like maybe turn, rotate it, uh, like this direction. Yeah. And we'll go like that. Should just add more. I mean, that's. That's what you got to do, right? If we can, if we can handle more, we do it. Fulfillment setter is done. So then we'll go in with this and add more trucks with the 16 grand there. And then once we have all that happening, I think we're now kind of set up and ready for our end game push towards just basically hitting cocaine, meth, all that stuff. Right. I could have done this a long time ago. I could have, um, most of the reason why I chose not to was to show people that you don't have to. Um, there was a substantial amount of people telling me to do that. And when a whole bunch of people tell me to do something, oftentimes uh, I will intentionally not do it just to show you that you don't need to do it. Um, like you can, sure, you can play that way, but you don't need to. And I want people to understand that you don't have to play a certain way. There's lots of different ways to play the game. And I have zero money issues at all with going only opium and cannabis and that is not even like i don't even need to make a deal all right i'm i'm literally bringing in more dirty money than i can wash and i have almost every place kind of full it's really just a matter of getting residences in their proper places and stuff now right um and getting people to move into you know places where they can be useful with this like the warehouse trucks will help me a lot because i won't need this guy to go back and forth from this plantation the plantation it grows cannabis so fast that I'm just unable and it always fills up. I'm unable to support the trucks unless I add more warehouses. So now I can upgrade those warehouses like this one here, for example, I'll do that now. Um, well, I probably shouldn't have done that because hang on, uh, confirm. I gotta wait for, I gotta wait for, uh, the building queue to go down, then start upgrading things. So as soon as we get to, yeah, see that as soon as we get to, uh, you know, having all these stuff built so there's no building queue. I'll start upgrading all my warehouses and my workshops. By then, I'll have the River Pier 3 done, and then we can start sending it out. It does slow down the selling interval slightly, but the big difference here is that the River Pier 3 
will have five selling slots and so it's 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 a huge it's a huge upgrade um and then of course i can add to its storage and uh reduce its cost and all that types of stuff too so um i can also say no more potholes make the uh when i start doing asphalt roads obviously we'll do this one next so that the roads are cheaper but i don't really think it matters because look at the difference in cost it's 60 60 bucks how many asphalt roads would i have to build to equal sixteen thousand dollars in savings there i don't think i need it you know i'll just take the asphalt roads if if i need it even i don't even know if i do uh and then like selectively choose which roads i want to upgrade because the road speed is not my problem um like we could if i upgrade it you'd think okay well that means the trucks can make their deliveries faster and that's true they can uh if i add faster roads the trucks will make their deliveries faster which means they can get to other deliveries quicker that is very true what you're maybe not seeing is that oftentimes our trucks are kind of waiting for certain productions to happen anyway um that's not the case in this area but it's the case in many other areas where it's like you don't you don't need faster roads you need faster production and um it's just a matter of the fact that there's so many buildings to tend to so it's a combination of things and we're gonna upgrade all of it it's just about which one i do first is well it's just my choice whatever i want to do first i guess doesn't have to be doesn't have to be complicated uh so this workshop has no chicken You delivered 76 units here. Okay, I see what you've done. I see how you did that. That's cool. Um, yeah, sure, man. I get it. Tell you what, let's um, get more chicken deliveries. And we'll start you off by delivering a whole bunch to this one. Because it's the one that's overflowing. Just to get it producing right now. Or not. Oh, you're still on avocados. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, granted, you weren't receiving chicken. That's true. But you weren't receiving chicken because you weren't requesting chicken. That's a bit of a difference there. So now you can at least run and operate and everything will be fine. So now I'll just go ahead and bring it to a, a warehouse for better distribution now. Get it over to like here. And again, I want to select this option so that when you're done, you stay. Uh, in this area to help cultivate uh cannabis cultivation uh okay hector we need you back on the on the in the docks please so we have that extra selling slot there we go very good full convoys done so now i should have a ton of trucks in there in here um although wait no i need them upgraded before i can have a whole bunch of trucks in there don't i so i need all my warehouses to be completely upgraded so what's the building queue at now? If I was to hit this button, is it done to happen immediately? Now I'm waiting in line by four. Okay, so tell you what, let's end the video here. It's a little shorter than usual. We'll end the video here. And um, when we come back for the next one, all my warehouses will be upgraded and um, all the stuff will be built, hopefully. And then we can look at starting to get into more advanced workflows, like starting to sell uh, methamphetamines and cocaine and we can also of course get into heroin if we want to as well we'll be selling everything um we don't need to concentrate on one we've done a lot with these two resources we've definitely proven you can play the game by only focusing on these two very easy early game resources you don't have to do the advanced stuff um you don't even need to adjust prices because there is a price floor for this stuff it doesn't go any lower than this no matter how much i sell i can't get the price to drop any lower than this it doesn't seem to anyway. Um, and then if you have two lieutenants that have, you know, make a deal, then it's also not a big deal there too. Cause you can just, you know, make a deal with them. I'm trying to figure out who can do it. I guess there's a, there's a weight on that. Um, I get, you could get multiple lieutenants that can make a deal, I guess. But uh, I think it was, I think it was Amarantha uh, and Colby were my two. You do the opium and you're the deal maker for the cannabis. But now, we can pick a fight with Molino too. I'll probably do that too. I'll probably pick a fight with Molino too, but that'll be next video. Um, so let me just let this run. Let me let it play. Let me get stuff sort of organized here. Um, and we're also gonna, you know, we'll have different locations for laundering money over here too. The casino, the bank, etc. cetera. Um, we'll make sure these trucks are doing what they need to do. And uh, 
yeah so when we come back for the next one all will be upgraded we'll start better production all right see you guys next time bye bye